Xbase is the generic term for all programming languages that derive from the original DBase programming language and database formats. These are sometimes informally known as DBase clones. While there was a non-commercial predecessor to the Ashton Tate product, most clones are based on Ashton Tate's 1986 DBase 3 Plus release. A Euro scripts written in the DBase 3 Plus dialect are most likely to run on all the clones. History of the X Ashton Tate always maintained that everything relating to DBase was proprietary, and as a result, filed lawsuits against several of the clone software vendors. One effect of this action was to cause the clone vendors to avoid using the term DBase, a trademark term held by Ashton Tate. This gave rise to the creation of the generic term X-Base meaning DBase or DBase-like. A suggested name that narrowly failed was Base, and some wanted it spelled X-Base to further differentiate it from the trademark. Standards effort, by 1987 there were an increasing number of clone software products that mimicked DBase. Each of these products had its own unique set of supported language features and syntax. As such, it was often very difficult to move code developed with one DBase-like product to run in another one. While there were many cries for a standard for the DBase programming language syntax, nothing would happen as long as Ashton Tate asserted ownership of all things DBase. Once Borland acquired Ashton Tate in mid-1991, such standardization efforts were given new life. An ANSI committee was officially formed, and began regular meetings in 1992. Mark Schnapp was the first chairman, and the first meeting was held at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California which was essentially the birthplace of Vulcan and eBase 2. The group met on a regular basis in a variety of locations over the next few years, and representatives from most major vendors participated. But despite lip service from all the vendors on the need for a standard, no one seemed willing to change their product syntax to match that of a competitor. Influences over time, in 1989, Microtrend Books published the first XBASE cross-reference book, The DBase Language Handbook, by David M. Kalman, which covered Quicksilver, Clipper, DBXL, DBase 3, DBase 3 Plus, DBase 4, and Foxbase Plus. At more than 1,000 pages, it compared the execution of commands and functions to enable developers to build and maintain portable applications. In 1993, Cybex, Inc. published the XBASE cross-reference handbook, by Sheldon M. Dunn, another cross-reference of the most commonly used XBase languages at the Tamiya Euro DBase 3 Plus, DBase 4, Fox Pro for DOS, Fox Pro for Windows. Fox Pro for Macintosh and Clipper 5.1. At 1352 pages and 5.1 pounds shipping weight, the cross-reference was hardly a handbook, but it provided the XBase community with an up-to-date, all-in-one reference manual, and addressed one of the major documentation problems that the community was facing. The software companies had decided to break their manuals into sections, separating commands from functions, etc and splitting the manual into two or three different manuals, and the community was left trying to figure what was what and which manual to keep close at hand. 1993 was pivotal for the X-Base community because, as previously noted, Ashton Tate had earlier sold D-Base as well as the rest of their product line to Ballin and Microsoft had purchased Fox Pro from Fox Software. Borland had also purchased Quicksilver to get a foot up the development ladder for a D-Base version for Windows. In 1994, Borland launched DBase V for Windows and DBase V for DOS before selling the DBase name and product line to DBase Incorporated. In recent years there seems to be a renewed interest in XBase, mostly because of a number of open source, portable, XBase implementations, and the scripting applicability of the language. While newer desktop database tools are optimized for mouse usage, XBase has always been keyboard friendly which helps make scripting and meter programming easier. Meter programming generally does not work as well with mouse-oriented techniques because automating mouse movements can require calculating and processing of screen coordinates, something most developers find tedious and difficult to debug. XBase is one of the few table-oriented scripting languages still available. XBase products, as of 2010, XBase is available and still expanding in terms of platform support. HTML clients, 
ASP servers, Windows scripting host, and self-contained interpreters. Its current usage tends to be wider in Europe and Asia than in the United States. The commercially available products, Apollo Database Engine for managing CA Clipper and Fox Pro from Vista Software, Clipper, Visual Objects and Vulkan.net from GraphX Software, DBase from DBase Incorporated. Dpfyu, DBF Editor Converter from Apicom Software, Flagship from Multisoft GmbH, GS Base, Managing DBase, CA Clipper and Fox Pro Files, Recital from Recital Corporation. XBASE++ from Alaska Software, X Harbor Builder Extended XBase Compiler, DBF Viewer 2000 from HiBase Group, DBF Database Management Tools from Astasoft Company Limited, DBF Commander Professional, Visual DBU Visual Administration of Any Database Table from DS Datasoft, Codebase XBase Programming Tools for Multiple Languages, Xela Complete 32 Bits Visual Development Environment for XBASE, 5 Win Visual Development for Windows e Linux, from Favitec. Some free versions are also available, including Active VFP a Euro free and open source project for creating web applications with FoxPro, Clipper Euro GNU, object oriented, CA Clipper compatible compiler, Harbor Project a Euro from Active Community. X Harbor Euro open source alternative, flagship free test version, DBF Commander, DBF RE a Euro script interpreter for developing XBase applications for the web, defunct products, Visual Fox Pro was available from Microsoft, Vulkan, DBII Compiler, Quicksilver, DBXL, Dialog, Joiner, VP Info, Force, DB Fast, Multibase, Foxbase. Cule.net from software perspectives. Interpreted versus compiled, XBase products generally split into an interpreted camp and the compiler camp. The original product was interpreted, but the clones, led by Clipper, began creating compiler versions of the product. Compiling improved overall runtime speed and source code security, but at the expense of an interpreted mode for interactive development or ad hoc projects. External links Clipper News Group, The History of Fox Pro, People Who Helped Fox Pro Become a Legend, Vulkan.net XBASE Language for Microsoft.net, The NTK Project, WIN32 GUI Framework for Harbor, Backward Compatible with Clipper and Clip for Win. XBASE File Format Description, Active Web Pages Using Server-Side XBASE Scripts, Freeware Max Script XBASE Interpreter, Embedded DBF Data Engine, Max Script XBASE Interpreter for Desktop and Web Applications.